So I'm uh, MV Cannon. I'm uh, working on the um, investigation into the co-evolution of uh, bees and uh, flowers. Uh, my particular role is um, from the computing side of it. So Microsoft Research is paying for software which will uh, help um, conduct this uh, research by um, providing software that can track the movements of the bees. Now, the movements of bees are important because what we're after here is uh, the preference that the bees have of choosing certain flowers over certain other flowers. So in this particular example, we've got uh, synthetic flowers which are just normal um, uh, flat colour and synthetic flowers which uh, have an iridescence to them. So as uh, we look at them and as the bees look at them, the colour changes depending on the direction that uh, we view the flowers from. Because we want to know if uh, the preference of the bees is uh, providing an evolutionary selection pressure on the flowers to uh, develop certain traits, in this case, iridescence. And uh, it does turn out that bees prefer to visit flowers that are iridescent. So the iridescence is a, uh, a trait that uh, we expect to be increasing in flower populations as um, bees preferentially uh, pollinate these flowers with that uh, iridescence on their petal surfaces. <laughs> Here, 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 every We've got, um, you know, obviously the active bee display here, and uh, the interactive um, diffraction uh, uh, grating display, which uh, is popular. Not to mention, of course, the um, the fantastic uh, bubble uh, bubble pot. <laughs> so all the bubbles being blown definitely uh, is a winner. And how are you finding the event? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> the range of science that's on display here is uh, absolutely brilliant. And every stall is so manned by such enthusiastic people that uh, I've really enjoyed finding out about everything from aurora to the way we see faces to um, the sound of uh, quantum graphs. And um, my favourite so far, I think, is uh, being able to see uh, particles coming in through the atmosphere in bubble chambers and uh, spark chambers. So yeah, it's such a huge diversity of enthusiasm here. <laughs> <laughs>